Hi, this is Carla from uh, careershift20.com and uh, in video editing today is uh, I'm going to teach you how to perform a test execution. So in the last video, I told you how to make a test case, how uh, to comprehend and how to interpret your business requirements. So today, um, I execute natin yung ginawa nating test case, yung actual na ginagawa ng isang uh, tester sa loob ng trabaho. So before we proceed, uh, I'd like to thank the 42 subscribers. And if uh, you're not yet subscribed, please uh, pakiclick yung uh, subscribe button and the uh, bell button for more cool, uh, for more of these uh, videos. Thanks. Okay, so uh, before we proceed sa ating main topic, um, gusto kong mag-add ng dalawang reminder for uh, creating a test case uh, document or creating a test case. So number one, try to update uh, your uh, test case as needed. So it doesn't mean na nasulat mo na yung test case mo, eh yun na yun. So dapat uh, in-update mo yung test case and steps and your test data Accordingly, if may tatanggap kang balita or merong update sa ticket mo, then uh, try to update your test case uh, accordingly. And then aside from BRD, use the updated environment and request demo from devs for more in-depth um, analysis of the latest software enhancement. So meaning nito, um, hindi lang sa BRD document nagbibase yung ating test case. So, the more accurate and the more um, profound yung ating understanding sa what needs to be tested, then check natin. So, this is a sample of the test environment. So, later, papakita ko sa'yo, uh, sa inyo, papano uh, mag, mag uh, test execute. So, so far, it, ito yung um, test environment. So, pwede mong galawin to, paglaruan mo, so that you can have a more... Um, updated uh, or accurate test steps and then and then um, uh, what else aside from that yung demo demo is some sort of a parang presentation from dev since sila yung nag uh, dev or program ng mga enhancement so meron na silang um, uh, parang solid understanding ano yung behavior ng isang software based, based sa kanilang enhancement uh, code en enhancement so uh, pademo natin sa kanila uh, yung, uh, quick, very quickly ano yung mga um, tricky part ng kanilang mga uh, updates or code changes so yun so uh, pangalawang bagay uh, nasa lang to uh, may meron tayong request coming from one of our uh, subscriber uh, Mark Joseph Malaga sabi niya uh, I, I mean nagtanong ako ano yung uh, pwede ko pang improve sa mga topics so sabi niya some testing tips po like what are the important things to test so I can give one right now so uh, right now uh, we are performing uh, a booking engine uh, testing um, in a bit and uh, one of one of my bases is to check the Google Analytics so yung Google Analytics is ito yung most accurate way kung paano mo i-align yung uh, classing testing mo so magpo-focus ka ba sa Firefox so Opera Mini hindi di ba so sa Analytics um, sasabihin niya sa'yo kung ano yung um, uh, common browser na ginagamit ng mga user so number one is uh, Chrome Internet Explorer Edge Safari so Kung mag-execute ka ng uh, test steps, unahin mo yung Chrome. Then yung uh, Internet Explorer, then yung, yung Edge, then Safari, and so on and so forth. So, uh, priority mo is to run this test case sa Chrome. Then priority number two, if you have still have time, then go for uh, IE, then Edge, and then, then Safari. So, the more mix you are, the more uh, robust yung integrity ng yung testing. So, Let's proceed with the test execution. So, uh, pagdating mo ng office, papasok ka sa counter mo, 
And then you open up your laptop. Execute mo na ba tong test steps? Do you? Hindi, di ba? So, meron kang kailangan i-consider before ka mag-test execute. Or execute yung mga test steps. What are those? I have six. Number one, is the code deployed to the test environment? So, as a tester, tatanungin mo ngayon, saan ba, ba yung code? Nasa UAT ba? Nasa SIT? Nasa dev branch ba? Ayan. Tatanungin mo yung team. Tatanungin mo yung, or hanapin mo sa inyong job boards or test management tool, saan naka-merge yung code changes. Kasi, kung test execute ka, tapos hindi mo alam saan nakalagay, then bali wala yung testing mo. You're testing for nothing. So, kailangan, bago mo ito i-execute and apply you need to know kung saan naka, uh, nakalagay yung code. Kung UAT siya, then dun mo ilagay or dun mo i-apply yung mga test steps. And so on and so forth. So, number two. Did you check test management boards of dev status? So, uh, naroon akong Jira pero uh, ako ng, magbibigay ako ng high level example ng isang Kanban board or, or isang test management tool. Um, usually, meron kang ganitong klaseng board. Yung to-dos, in progress, on hold, done, and then ready for test. Usually, nakalagay dito yung mga tickets. Ticket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Uh, ticket 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8. Ganun. So, kapag yung tinitest mo, kunwari, um, this is uh, change number 1. Sabi niya, done. And then, the change number two and then change uh, change number three so sa tatlong change na to alin ang unahin mong i-test is it number one kasi nakadan na is it number two kasi on hold or number three which is ready for test okay you read my mind it's supposed to be change number 3 kasi kung itetest mo yung change number 1 at nakadan and then hindi pa nilipat ng dev or tinanong mo siya hey dev um, nasa ready for test na ba yung change number 1 then check mo yung board update ko yung board later ganun yung sasabihin niya so right off the bat malalaman mo na kung ano yung ready for test which is change number 3 so hanapin mo ngayon kung uh, anong environment siya and then, yun ang tutukan mong itest. Huwag yung change number one or yung change number two. Because, as per the board, wala pa siya sa uh, testable environment. Hindi pa siya available for you to test. So, change number three yung itetest natin. Okay? Ah, okay. Uh, number three, stand up meetings update. Ask which ones are ready for testing. So, so hindi, ta naman, hindi naman tayo... Uh, ot, uh, uh, let's just say uh, military style sa isang team everyone should have a, a good communication so build relationships with the dev with the BA usually itong stand up meeting na to is one of the one of the t meeting type ng isang agile methodology sa isang stand up meeting pwede mong tanongin yung pwedeng sabihin ng isang um, ka team mo team member Ano yung ginagawa niya, ano yung blocker niya, ano yung ginawa niya kahapon, and ano yung uh, pwedeng itest ng team. So, dito mo malalaman kung ano ba talaga yung pwedeng itest na. Ayan. Also, uh, number four, uh, check latest version of the environment. Minsan, minsan kasi sa isang team, uh, minsan yung dev mo na sa ibang bansa, like for example, Ukraine or Australia. So, probably or US iba yung time zone nila so mahirap ka usapin yun diba so unless mag overlap yung time zone nyo so in order for you to verify kung ano yung kung na, na deploy na ba yung um, yung build na kailangan mo itest then usually check mo yung uh, version ng isang test environment let's see if meron siyang version dito powered by mm, usually yung isang test environment Meron siyang, um, 
text dito somewhere here um, wala siya dito pero usually meron siyang text dito yun yung build version niya kapag mature yung team the dev will provide you the build um, build number over here or build version so para malaman mo na kung yung version na nasa in test environment is yung expected mong change para matest mo ulit yung mga test case mo again uh, this will make sense uh, some of future vi videos but for now that's one of the reminder just ask ano may yung latest version ng environment kung old siya uh, nagtitest ka tapos um, kahapon pa yung or, or old yung nasa test environment then it's no use to uh, retest your test steps kasi you're just testing what was available yesterday okay so um number five test devices prepared so before you come on test and avoid any uh, inefficiency kailangan mong i-ready meron ka na bang opera browser ie safari browser so if not then install mo muna yung kailangan install prepare it connect mo sa proper environment or uh, buhayin mo yung uh, virtual machine, kailangan mong i-prepare to before ka mag-test. Para pag nag-execute ka, buhay yung session mo and hindi patay. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, um, uh, gets, nyo yun, gets, gets nyo naman yung point ko. Kailangan, pag nag-test ka, tuloy-tuloy. Kasi you, you want to make sure that you mimic the user experience. Okay? Uh, number six, test data still applicable. So, may mga yeah, may mga chances na while 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 the developer is um, changing the code or updating the code may mga chances na may change sa isang basis document so kapag may change dito kailangan mag reflect din yung change sa test data mo sa test steps mo so you, you wanna make sure na kailangan yung test data mo are still applicable while you are testing so hindi naman bawal na um, hindi na update sa so, totoong buhay pwede mo siyang update as long as you get as recent as you can the more recent the more updated the better okay so shall we proceed so uh, assuming that it, itong mga anim na to is okay and you're satisfied and nakuha mo yung proper information and pwede ka nang mag test then let's go ahead and test so uh, ito yung uh, sample na ginawa nating test case last time so uh, I made it a point na medyo uh, mas detail siya ngayon pero okay sa totoong buhay as a manual tester ano mo anong gagawin syempre you have to understand what you're trying to test ano scenario and ano yung pinupunta ng test case mo and then yung test steps meron ka bang test data? yes tapos you have to understand ano yung expected result so itong pinupunta ng test steps and yung test description is kailangan daw I should be having a very complete or successful booking okay so gawin natin siya so unang paraan para mag test uh, let's open daw yung prerequisite to. So, it's a prerequisite or precondition. Kasi sa number one niya is enter city or airport na. So, wala yung, uh, hindi niya sasabihin na open mo yung website. But, this column calls for it. So, open natin yung um, test environment. So, uh, ito siya. Load natin. No waiting. Review natin yung, review natin yung uh, mga steps. Enter city or airport from the given place. What are the place? So, sabi niya dito, Naiya and then Changi. Naiya is in Manila and Changi is in Singapore. So, and then enter ko ng September 28, 2019. Okay, let's, let's check. So, test steps. Uh, the step number one, enter city which is Changi and uh, Manila and Singapore so this is in, yan. and then 
Ano daw yung date? Um, departure date is September 28. Is it a round trip or or one way? Sabi dito, uh, verify that user can book flights by name, airport, and to date uh, for one way trip. So, yun. So, bakit ko binasa ulit? Kasi wala yung return date. So, I have to make sure na tama yung ginagawa ko. So, sabi dito, one way trip, then let's choose one way. Okay? So, September 28, 2019. Ayan. So, okay na tayo. So, step number one. Then, step number two, okay na rin. Step number three, enter departure address. So, that's kind of advanced. Pero, there should be a um, Ah, ito muna. Mali. Mali yung ano, sequence. So, enter departure date. Ito. Let's change this word to departure airport. Enter departure date. Okay. So, since one way. So, hindi tayo pwede mag-enter kasi sinilag natin is one way. Okay. So, ilang packs. Wala siyang sinabi. So, assume that it's one. And then, test step number um, five. Click search button. Let's click search. Okay. It's loading. And then, test Step number six, after appearing available flights and date, click book now button. Click book now button. So, sabi niya, um, kapag nag-load daw yung um, results page, kailangan pumili tayo ng isang flight by clicking the book now button. Okay, so pili tayo isa. So, Let's select uh, over here, JPY 1417. Uh, gusto ko yung check kung JPY ba o USD or what not. So, wala naman sinabing currency dito. So, though, I can still use JPY or I can use USD. So, check natin yun. At mas okay if pwede natin i- uh, lagay dito USD or JBY so as I've mentioned late, uh, uh, a while ago keep updating your test data and your test steps so sabi dito I've selected JBY pero naglo-load pa siya so let's just wait and while waiting uh, after selecting uh, book now click confirm booking so hanggang dun lang Kasi ang goal natin is just to verify that the user can book uh, one-way flights with a uh, return date. I mean, with the uh, departure date along with the destination. Okay, update ba? USD. Okay, so update siya. So, let's proceed. Uh, click natin yung book now. Let's select this one. Okay, so uh, after clicking book now, click confirm booking. Click confirm booking. This one. So, hindi niya sinabi. So, sabi natin. Click. Sabi lang step, click confirm booking. So, that's it. So, expected daw kasi, hindi naman sinabi sa step na i-fill out yung book details. Then, if I click, Confirm booking without entering the required fields, without entering any data sa mga required fields, then this is expected. So, did we have a successful booking? No. No, di ba? So, what ang gagawin natin is enter information. Test at test.com test at test.com 
since this is a a test environment you don't need to ano uh, gumamit ng real uh, uh, email unless kailangan mong i-verify yung email receipt so 99999 and address test delete tayo ng number country uh, Philippines PH okay passenger name test hmm hindi siya validate wala siya field validation so lagay natin yung lagay tayo ng ng pseudo data okay so itong test steps na to is a happy path happy kasi wala tayong verify na mali in expected uh, error message so gusto lang natin is to have a successful booking so I have all the necessary details to complete the booking so I click confirm this booking okay so kung walang additional steps dito pwede mo lagay dito sa test steps or post condition post condition meaning uh, enter customer details in um, booking information so yun update your uh, template para maging successful yung ating booking so um, sabi dito um, this page says unpaid okay did we had a successful booking yes uh, it so happened that hindi siya paid pero it was a successful booking because meron kang um, uh, there should be have there should be a booking uh, booking code here's your booking code Ayan. so it is a successful booking okay so as a actual result so time to I uh, know so if if uh, na satisfy my test steps then it's time to fill out this uh, template so actual result uh, did you had a successful booking using these steps and this test data yes right kasi meron ka successful booking unpaid nga lang uh, ang usually sinasabi ko dito same as ER expected same as expected result or you, you can also break down yung uh, um, uh, actual result like for example uh, with uh, booking code with a receipt um, ano pa? and the receipt and then with um, Manila to sin one way. Yan, pwede natin lista yan. So, those are the basic example. Status, pass. Uh, some of you might uh, want to argue uh, unpaid J. Unpaid J, di ba? Does that mean uh, pass siya? O complete siya? O hindi? Para sa akin, kompleto siya. Kasi hindi naman tayo nag-define ng na, hindi tayo nag-define ng step dito that validates na paid yung booking. It so happen na what are we trying to test is baka complete ng isang one-way booking from Singapore to Changi. And with this specific example like uh, one pax and I had a successful booking. Hindi lang nga lang siya paid. So discussion to sa um sa isang business analyst kung ano yung definition of done and then executed by test our name test our name and then executed date which is let's just say 7 12 2019 these dates are important kasi it documents uh, your action that on this day 
you had successfully uh, tested this test case and then using these test steps and test data and you had a, a passing remark. So kung nagka-issue dito in the future, then you can go back to this specific um, uh, this specific test case na na-document mo siya. Tapos, so dito ba nagtatapos to? Hindi. Kailangan kang mag-ipon ng test result. So, one way of um, documenting your test result is uh, having a screenshot. So, screenshot daw natin to. Then, uh, I'm using, by the way, I'm using Jing. You can record yung video or capture an image. So, for now, hindi naman kailangan yung transition. So, let's just save uh, an image. So, save. So, let's say, um, yung booking. Usually, ginagamit ko yung date na to to document yung timestamp. Pero, maglalagay ako ng additional info here. Uh, test. Case. Uh, and yung test case ko. Mm, test case ID. Ah, ang haba. So, ito yung gagamitin kong name. Naming convention ang tawag dito. Para merong pag binasa mo siya, alam mo what went on this specific um, screenshot. Meron kang brief background. Para na rin uh, may clue yung mga magbabasa ng mga screenshots nyo in the future. Might be uh, a business guy or a tech guy or an admin guy or another tester. So, pag binasa yung title ng screenshot, then meron na siyang clue kung ano yung tintest nyo at that time. So, I hit save. Then, so, yun. Uh, yun yung basic way to um, to perform a test execution. So, tanong, uh, are you done? And sa testing? Well, we'll find out. So, ano yung gagawin after performing the test steps? Ito. Uh, I have five items. So, update the report. So, kailangan kailangan tayo nag-update ng actual result uh, status executed by and test date inipon natin to collectively uh, for example kung ilan yung pass, kung ilan yung fail and then ano yung coverage ipon din natin siya so sa isang test uh, test case document meron kang example na sa yung sayo hmm Ayan to. 2, 3, uh, 9. Probably 9. Ayan, 9. So, sa report mo, report mo yung total pass, total uh, fails, fails, uh, issues, if any. Provide a, uh, a quick narrative kung ano yung issue. And then an issue uh, ticket number. In the future videos, I'll show you how to document yung uh, or papano gumawa ng isang bug report. That makes sense. Sa isang dev and the other testers. So, second item that we need to do after performing a test execution is yung update latest management boards. So, bal balik tayo dun sa example na dashboard. Usually, merong uh, another column dito that says um, signed off, QA sign off. Again, hindi to general term uh, sa software, gen software, software testing general term, but um, pwedeng maging ganito yung connotation. It's just a column that says na you've completed your testing and pumasa yung testing nyo sa isang specific um, uh, um, ticket or change QA sign off oh, yan. so kawari uh, change 
Itong document na to is change number 3. So, yung buong document na to will, pertains sa change number 3. So, after performing all of your test steps sa isang test case and all of your test scenarios and then you're done, then update mo ngayon yung board mo. Yung general works like this. Y your your test management test management tool may differ pero ganito lang yung sense you know, may lahat tayo merong to-do list in progress, on hold, done and then um, yung ready for test and then QA sign off sign off Ayan. so kapag yung board na update mo then it means to say you're telling the team that change number 3 is complete wala siyang issue and a document mo na and you've done your part sa testing okay and ready na siya to deploy sa live deploy to live live meaning yung production yung actual na uh, environment na ginagamit ng users so what else what did what needs to be considered uh, organized test results yes we did prepare for bug retest well kapag um, for example yung change uh, number one ready for test na siya and then uh, if you may nakita kang issue then kailangan mong gumawa ng uh, bug report again in the future I'll show you how yung bug report na to will tell the dev kung paano mo siya uh, nakita na uncover and then some screenshots or video transitions para ma or pwede mong i-demo sa dev paano mo siya na, na uncover or na experience and then um, prepare for pre-deployment and post-deployment deploy and so uh, ang meaning nito is again prepare your test data data for prod for prod why kasi kung ano man nagwo-work sa test environment test environment test environment lang siya or sandbox so it kung gumagamit kayo lang kayo ng pseudo credit card then the pseudo credit card won't work sa prod kailangan mo ng real credit card to test so um punta ka ngayon sa marketing niyo or sa finance uh, chase some people ask around kung pwede kang manghiram ng uh, test uh, I mean, uh, pwede kang manghiram ng credit card for your prod testing. So, gano'n ang ibig sabihin nito. So, hindi ka bound sa business requirements mo. You have to realize kung anong need mo para masatisfy mo yung mga uh, your responsibility as a QA. One of them is to test prod, then chase some people, get the necessary test data for prod usage. Okay. So, ganun din, test data. And then, um, will you, ang tanong, will you be executing the exact steps sa, sa, sa deployment? Hindi. Uh, since na-cover mo na to, and napasa mo na siya, na-sign off mo na, yung change number 3 says, kailangan lang makamag-book ng one way. That's just an example using uh, uh, Manila to sin. So, sa prod, ang gagawin mo ngayon, well, prod na to. Let's just say, example is uh, Sivpak. Cebu Pacific. Your favorite. Booking engine. On sale. So, for example, yung Cebu Pak, eh, ito yung test environment niya. And then, ito yung prod yung live na nagagamit ng actual na user so ang change natin is to book Manila to Singapore so then ang sa sa post deployment natin ang kailangan natin gawin para masatisfy yung checking natin is to make a successful uh, one way booking for Manila to send that's it Hindi mo na kailangan check yung mga nitty-gritty kasi na-check mo na yun sa U18 niyo or previous uh, 
staging environment which is very near sa actual na production site let's just say gaya natin yung kanina September 28 and then I'll choose uh, one way so ayun kapag search ako pwede mong ituloy if you still have time pero for now uh, you're done with the test execution so that's it that's uh, how you do it some other reminder common problema during test execution so ito yung sa real world um, hindi siya pretty hindi siya okay some are okay but uh, ito yung mga karaniwan nagiging problem ng isang tester missing test data so yun kumari uh, gumawa ng test case and then nabura or hindi siya applicable then that's one of your problems missing test data so again best practice natin before you test execute check always check your test data dev yet to merge the build so sabi nyo yung kick off natin is uh, ng change number 3 um, sabi ng dev na wait, ready for test na why not siya Wala na dito siya, tapos nilipat niya dito. O ikaw ngayon, eh, from your understanding, pwede na siyang i-test. Then when you went ahead and checked the environment, tapos wala, hindi ka makabukbuk ng, ng Manila to sin, then something wrong. So you have to ask the dev, kung na-merge na ba o hindi. Kasi na-update na yung word, di ba? So those are one of your minor conflicts. You just have to open a uh, communication sa mga dev, your business uh, analyst or your product owner um, para mag updated sa lahat ng bagay. Para hindi masaya yung effort mo sa mga testing nyo. Okay? Okay, third. Back-end problems. Back-end problems meaning yung test environment problem na to. Meaning, kumara ito, under maintenance or may nag-update na database which is out of your control then you have to stop testing kasi kapag nag-report ka may nag-email sa group nyo na hey, uh, we're in maintenance period today like like uh, starting now until the next 2 hours tapos nag-report ka ng bug within that period then that's invalid so wag mo siyang you have to be uh, aware sa mga bagay-bagay na to okay so what are, what are yung common problems pa um, blockers major software issue ito kumare sa pagtetest mo talagang hindi mo makita yung Manila to sin so that's a major issue kasi yun yung scope ng change number 3 is to book a one way from Manila to sin pag hindi mo makita yung Manila departing or destination is Singapore then that's a major issue so mayroong kulang na setup on the back end Again, raise it. Wag mong kim kimin. You have to report this and tell it to the group. And hindi hindi mo kaya maging sekreto yun. You have to communicate. Ayan. Part of the job is to have a good communication. Good communication is having the concise, concise and updated information. Yan ang meaning ng communication sa amin sa, sa IT word. Okay? So, walang bulaklak words, walang whatsoever. Just be direct to the point, concise, with most with the most recent information. Then, we can base our decision sa mga ganitong bagay. If you provide the wrong information, then we will decide on the wrong decision. That, ganun lang yan. Okay? So, I guess uh, may marami kayong natutunan sa episode na to uh, in regarding uh, the actual test ex- execution ng isang uh, uh, tester <coughs> using a web testing. So, uh, I appreciate your time and uh, uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to comment like ginawa ni Mark. Uh, I appreciate this one and uh, pwede kong insert yung mga questions nyo for the future videos okay uh, keep on uh, liking uh, <coughs> the channel subscribe to the channel and 
uh, sana share your any share your clarifications para uh, baka questions din ng iba so uh, I will gladly uh, answer them sa mga future videos okay this is Carlo uh, from careershift.it.com and thank you and have a good one I'll see you in the next one